are Penny Ray, and we are going to start vlogging. This is our first vlog, which is a funny word, but anyway, we are vlogging. We're going to kind of bring you behind the scenes on some of the things uh, that we're doing this year. Uh, we're going to be making a full-length record, and so we'll be bringing you behind the scenes as we do that in the studio. Um, probably bring you along for um, some road trips. You get to see just random video of us meeting random people on the road. Um, and then we're just going to talk about random stuff. We'll probably mm -hmm. talk about our Grammy predictions or our Super Bowl predictions or anything like that. Just stuff to have fun and just kind of interact with you guys more. Uh, feel free to ask us questions in the comments here. And maybe the next time we vlog, we'll answer those questions. Um, anyway, that's, that's what we're doing here. So we're just going to kind of dive in and make goofy faces because that's what we do. Yeah. So if you could listen to only one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm, probably Justin Timberlake. Which one? The 2020. Okay. Uh, for me, it would definitely be Joshua Tree by U2. What was your worst part-time or summer job? I had to paint fire hydrants at a paper mill. I stink. What'd you smell like, Randy? I smell like a horse's rear end. <laughs> <laughs> and it was 110 degrees outside. What is your favorite snack? My uh, favorite snack is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Hands down, no doubt about it. Randy, what's your favorite snack? It's so hard. Nutella. I think everybody knows that. I make it clear. So, if, if any of you guys can get us Nutella peanut butter cups, Ooh. you will have created the official snack of Penny Ray. Yes. Um, so, anybody who can make that happen, please make that happen. Blue, please make that happen. Make it happen. Nutella Misty Cakes. <laughs> what is your favorite guilty pleasure? Rap music. <laughs> Can I say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably rap music. So, what is your favorite guilty pleasure? I, uh, more than I should, I really actually like Katy Perry's music. Um, almost all of it. What was the first CD that you ever purchased? TLC. Crazy Sexy Cool. Sandra, what was the first CD you ever purchased? Uh, my, my first CD uh, was Petra, Beyond Belief. Nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's that early 90s Christian rock. Mm, that's why I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First CD that I purchased that was not a Christian CD was uh, Miles Davis, Kind of Blue. That's a good one. Cool. Nice one. Purchased a lot of jazz back then. Uh, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. John Coltrane is. I don't know jazz. Or uh, Herbie Hancock. I know who Michael Bublé is. Right, right. Dizzy Gillespie? Don't know. No? No. Dizzy Gillespie was in the Cosby Show. He had the big trumpet. What about 
Louis Armstrong. Yeah. Too jazz. Yeah. And we got Kenny G. No. Oh, jazz. Uh, before we shot this vlog, we were asked online about our writing process and just how we come up with new songs. So, you wanna? I know for me, it's more with the melodies, and it comes to me in random places, like at the grocery store, in the cookie aisle, because that's mostly where I shop. <laughs> <laughs> or in the car, or just random places, melodies will come. I know I'll look funny in the grocery store singing to my phone. Then we, uh, we write a lot together, and so um, a lot of times we come together with those melodies or um, just different random little ideas, and, and we'll come together. Sometimes just the two of us, or we'll have other people involved. You can kind of see the writing credits on our record. There are a lot of songs where there are three people involved. I think there are a couple songs in there that just the two of us wrote. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll just come in with an idea and then kind of expand on it. And... Um, and generally, those songs, you know, we came in with the idea, but we will leave after just one night of writing with the song pretty much finished. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll kind of morph a little bit when we go into the studio and record it. We might be changing lyrics on the fly or, or even melodies. Um, but generally, they're written, you know, of a little idea and then um, just out of one writing session generally finish a song. Because we're awesome. Yeah. Or we have low standards. I like to. So this has been our first vlog. We are going to be shooting these throughout the year. Um, don't know how often, uh, but we are going to have a lot of content coming to you on YouTube. We have some different ideas that are kind of mm -hmm. kicking around. We're going we're gonna to keep releasing covers. We're going to keep releasing uh, live takes of our songs um, and then through the vlogs we'll kind of get you behind the scenes on some of these things maybe some behind the scenes of videos and recording and all kinds of fun stuff um, so just keep tuned on this YouTube channel um, be sure to follow us on Twitter you can see the link below just, just click and follow us uh, same thing with Facebook and Instagram um, there's gonna be a lot coming this year it's gonna be a lot of fun and we're looking forward to just bringing you along for the ride so uh, thanks for checking it out, and we will see you later.